To get started with your reverse canvas, the first thing you're going to have to do is remove these staples from the back of the wood frame to remove the canvas. And that can be a little tricky. I used a, uh, a flathead screwdriver just to kind of wiggle my way underneath the staples and pry them up, which I went ahead and did on this other canvas here. So as you see, all the staples are removed. So we can go ahead and take this out. Of where I need to trim it at. I'm just going to kind of make just going to make a little mark here just so I know where the frame sits so I trim off the next enough excess so the canvas will fit in the middle. That's kind of what I'm going to do now. is I'm going to go ahead and paint my frame. I just have black paint because I'm going to kind of do a Halloween uh, spooky picture here. And then once that's done, I'm going to heat press my design onto my canvas. And then we will staple the canvas back like that. So I'll show you the next steps. I should remove that staple, huh? I'm not to remove these staples. You almost get the idea. So now that our frame has been painted and dried, and if you don't want to use regular paint, you can use a stain and stuff like that and make it look a little bit more sophisticated, but I just wanted to go kind of a uh, Halloween route, so I just did black paint. Um, so I have my, my design cut out here. I used our green and purple hologram. So the next step is just to take our canvas that we cut earlier, and I'm going to press this on. It's all just a bunch of hocus pocus.